Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, I don't have a net. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There we go, fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. All right, so we just got here to the Lake Whitney Dam. We're gonna be camping out below the dam on the Brazos River. I think Chris Fowler, Eric Porter, a couple other guys are gonna be down here. We gotta find a place to park the rig. We brought the rigs. So we got some luxuries this uh, this camping trip. We're gonna go scope it out. See if we can fit fit in somewhere. Get in where we fit in. Cause we out here. Cause we out here. Cause we stay trip. Good to see you. Brooks. Steve. Steve. Nice to meet you. How's it going, Brooks? Sorry, I was just like... Oh, you're good. Sweat That's fine. <laughs> we can we can wipe. We can sweat, brother. Make a, make a good, good little bond. This was a keychain holder. Oh, yeah, so I just yeah, knocked, yeah, I just cut all the little prongs off, and then I just got these little jewels and freaking glued every one of them on. But jazzled it. I like it. Got the bling. You know we're going to be catching fish. Whoever catches the biggest fish this weekend inherits... But he said he's not willing to give it up. Chain. Yeah. We'll see. If I catch the biggest fish, it goes to the person. <laughs> <laughs> this feels rigged. This feels rigged. We're here on the Brazos River for Chris Fowler's birthday. All right. I don't know if Brooks is drunk or if this is just a, a style that I'm unaware of. But when I'm wearing NRS Performance water shorts, I don't feel the need to roll them up. Sky's out, thighs out, baby. Ooh -wee. Need to work on that tan line. You do need to work on that tan line. Oh God, he's unbuttoned his shirt. There's kids that watch the show, man. Chill out. So if you guys remember the episode with Eric Porter on the lower Colorado River, here he is. And these guys are trying to sneak a fish in during sunset. Sun's going down. We're kind of starting to think about grub, getting rods rigged, kayaks rigged. Get everything ready for the float tomorrow. It's going to be a long day. There's some good fish here below Whitney. In the meantime, we're going to, we're going to drink some drinks, eat some eats. Just have a good time. Who's Jack Daniels? Is this? <laughs> Yours. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we're here camping below uh, Lake Whitney Dam on the Brazos River. It's Chris Fowler's birthday. What it is? <laughs> what it is. <laughs> they were grubbing down right now. We got a little charcoal grill out there cooking sausages. We got jalapeno poppers in the outdoor grill here in the Keystone Cougar. I brought my house down here, my rig down here to the riverside. And uh, inside we got some burgers on a cast iron skillet on the stove. So we are doing it right. We're just grubbing down, enjoying each other's company. And in the morning, we're going to be doing a float down the river about eight miles. So one of my favorite kinds of trips. Chilling and grilling, hanging out with good people. Tomorrow we're going to be fishing all day. It's going to be a good time. Stay tuned. Feeling it. Thoughts on the morning, boys? Hungover, boy. <laughs> Super hungover, boy. <laughs> what we rigging up and chasing today? Mm. I'm gonna put a park fly on this one. Mmm. Mm. Don't know which one I want right now. I was gonna say, how do you pick out all that? Is that one gonna do it? Hope so. Gotta keep eyes on it so I got the hot spot so I can see it. Mm -hmm. So I drank too much. It's my birthday. I do what I want. Drink too much water. Too Feeling much. very hydrated. Yep, very, very hydrated right now. Brooks Beatty and I are launching right now in the Brazos River. This is not the same stretch we did with Matthew Scotch. We're below Whitney this time, Lake Whitney. 
But we are late. All the guys launched. We're sitting here getting product shots and yada yada. And everyone was up drinking pretty late last night. Except for us two. We were in bed early. Getting ready to work hard today. But we're about 30 minutes behind the guys. So they're already down. We're doing a float. We already dropped trucks down where we're going to take out. Got about eight miles to cover today. Good shot at some nice bass. They're going to be trying to catch carp on the fly. There's striper in here. Uh, spotted bass. I don't know if there's smallies down here or not. Uh, so we don't know. We haven't done the stretch. We're going to go figure it out. But we're late. We got to go. We're going to launch the lightning kayaks right now. Go get it done. Hell yeah. Good fish on the fly back here from the Margaritaville float. Style points. Look that buddy out. Nice. See him? <laughs> That's so awesome. Here in about an hour, when that sun really gets up there, you're gonna have the best craft out here for sure. Yeah, it's gonna get hot. Check out this bluff wall on the river. There's, it's like acting as a natural spring. There's water dripping out of where this moss is. You can hear it trickling down all the way across. Yep, and I'm on. Decent, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It's not big now, but I think it's a white, a white or a striper. Looks like a big white or a hybrid. Nice. Let's see. It's got a tooth patch, so that's a hybrid. So that is a hybrid white bass and striped bass, striper. Pretty fish. We found this kind of deep hole next to this this waterfall trickle going all the way down. First throw in there with the A-Rig. Decent fish, best fish of the morning so far. There she goes. Got him. <laughs> all right guys, so like I said, we're uh, behind. So I'm gonna kind of walk and talk right now. I'm trying to catch up to these guys, but got another mystery tackle box in the mail a couple days ago, brought it out today. Haven't even looked in it, so we're gonna see what we got. All right, well, uh, first things I see, I'm about to tie one on. Hard hat jigs, mushroom jig head, basically like a shaky head. That's from Catch Company. And then also this 10,000 fish Tsukoshi bug, kind of like a, a little stick bait, but it's got some, some fingers up at the top. But this is gonna be kind of a finesse rig, and uh, this is a really shallow river, so uh, there's gonna be smaller fish. I'm gonna put this on a light spinning setup. I got a feeling this is gonna catch fish all day. Uh, we've also got another Hula Popper 2.0. This is my new favorite popper on the planet. Been loving this thing. Think that'll work well out here. We've got this Wiggle Bomb from Chase Baits. This thing is pretty cool. I've actually never seen anything like this. This is, it looks, it looks kind of like a topwater frog. It's actually slow sinking. And it's got a crazy curly tail. Uh, this is pretty intriguing and it's very weedless, which is going to be great for throwing into these brush piles and, and the grass and stuff on the river. So that should be good. And then we've got a square bill. This is the original Lucky John X gear. It dives zero to two feet, which is perfect. Again, shallow river. Oh, it's got a nice rattle to it. Pretty subtle pattern, which it's clear water, bluebird sky day pretty much. Uh, so having something with subtle pattern, I don't need crazy bright colors. They're going to see it and they're definitely going to hear it and feel it. So um, yeah, sweet stuff, guys. Uh, Mystery Taco Box, I mean, I would never have seen any of these lures if it wasn't for Mystery Taco Box. So uh, it's just a great way to kind of expand your arsenal, learn new baits, get confidence in new baits. I'm about to try out a couple things I've never thrown before and see how they do. But, uh, you know, to me, my favorite thing is being a well-rounded angler and learning new, uh, new techniques, new baits. It's just going to help you catch more fish no matter where you go. Having more kind of tricks up your sleeve. And like I said, I'm going to tie on this creature bait right now. Really nice action. I love ribbed baits like that. I think it moves water and just kind of tickles their lateral line, if you know what I'm saying. All right, get these rigged up. I got to keep moving down the river. It's shallow here. I got to paddle. Not exactly the monsters we're out here for. See you, buddy. Now, these guys are fly fishing. They might have enjoyed that. I don't even, I couldn't even tell if he was on there. It just goes to show, you think like, ah, oh, this bait's too big and gaudy, but then there it was. Tiny little bass wanted to hit the A-Rig. That means any bass will hit it. See if we can't upsize that guy. See, I got more little guys following it. 
Just gotta find the big girl. Looking for your grandma. I think it's a smallmouth. No, it's a sand bath. For it. I don't know if you can see it, but from way down where we started, all the way along the river on this side, it's just a flat bluff wall. And that's when this river floods, it comes up and carves out that soft land, limestone and sandstone. And it's all basically really soft earth. And it just carves a perfect wall when this thing floods. So you can see that it, I mean, it floods as high as that. And it's just carved all that away. Makes for a really, really cool formation though. And you can see where it's broken off in chunks. It's really interesting. Fishing forces you to learn a lot about geology. Isn't that right, Brooks? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. I read it on the wiki. Bro, I just caught a four inch bass on the A rig. <laughs> nice. I just got a, uh, as you like to call them, sand bass. Oh, the old sand bass, eh? Actually. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It's a little better. A little better. Yeah, it could be. This is, this is a little striper. Two patch is a hybrid, I believe. Little baby striper on the Alabama rig. Just kind of throwing that here early in the morning. Go ahead and click the angler. Bullseye. Log that guy and I'll snap a picture. And the nice thing about the angler app, when I log a catch, it automatically brings my, my camera up. So I don't have to waste time fumbling around for it. See you, buddy. Those striper, they fight so damn hard. I, I thought for sure he was going to be decent. I thought he'd be like a pound. Pound and a half. Uh-uh. Little guy. She's on again. Another good one. Damn. On the fly, back to back. In the Margaritaville float tube. This is so awesome. Nice. Another little guy. I skipped it all the way to the back, back wall there. And he smacked it as soon as it came to rest. It was still on the surface. I got to see him come up. This little guy, these little ones are aggressive. The big ones are still eluding us. So I can't find them. Fish on. <laughs> Wacky saying go through it out and just let it sit. Sure enough, little bass came and ate it. <laughs> this thing just catches fish everywhere. If you don't fish the Wacky Senko, I don't care where you live, you're doing yourself a disservice. It just catches fish everywhere. So far all my fish have come really on the Exo Swim, Biospawn Swim Bait, and then the Wacky Rig. Nice. Beauty, beauty, beauty. It's the middle of the day, it's hot, so uh, I think a slow presentation is really gonna be the, the ticket right now. So letting that wacky just kind of dead stick almost. Uh, seems to be a pretty effective strategy. I mean, I just threw that right out in the middle, middle of nothing. But uh, I saw fish cruising, I thought they were all carp, but I pitched out at some that were far enough, I didn't think they'd already seen me, and sure enough, line started moving to the side, and. The little bass had it. See if we can't uh, replicate that a little bit. If these bass are cruising, the Wacky Senko is, uh, in my opinion, the best thing to throw. I'm also gonna try the swim bait. That might get bigger fish, but in terms of just getting bites, when bass are cruising, they see that Senko falling like that, they just can't, they just can't not hit it. Look, something's busting bait out of the water right over there. This is also, uh, the Wacky Senko is also great for casting at blowups because uh, the fish will turn around, it'll think that it's injured a fish. Looks like a dying bait fish falling down and they'll uh, go in to finish them off and it'll be my hook in their mouth. Let's see if we can't catch another, a couple more right here. I've seen a lot of fish. I think a lot of them are buffalo carp, but I think there's some bass kind of scattered, mixed in, cruising this little deeper flat. It's about five feet here, where everywhere else has been two feet. Oh, something just chased it up. Something just chased it almost out of the water. And there's a big fish cruising right there. I don't know what that is. I 
don't know if y'all can see that, but there's there are fish cruising in here. That thing just chased the wacky senko as I was burning it back to the boat. A little break. Taking a little pit stop, a little break. Fowler, you look like a mermaid. The river mermaid. <laughs> so Chris Fowler here, it's his birthday. Wish him happy birthday. Yeah, buddy. And uh, Chris here works for Chris here works for Orvis. So uh, he's got the Orvis out here. Brooks brought the Helios 3. I forgot my Helios 3 at home, even though my home is at the launch. <laughs> Just rushing out of here and uh, forgot it. Didn't realize it until I was too far down river. But they're fly fishing, getting some fish. She's been catching from the margarita flow too. Let me show you this thing to you guys. Look what this gal's fishing out of. And from what I've seen, she's out fishing all the boys right now in these fancy kayaks. This is her rig. Coming soon. You'll see it at ICAST next year. No way. God, everyone's catching fish on the eight weight. See? You can tell he works for Orvis. <laughs> Snatched these fish out of nowhere. That might be the smallest fish ever caught on an eight weight, actually. Mm. It's a pretty little fish. But yeah. it's a it's a legit hookup. Yeah. <laughs> Count it. Probably a group of 10 of them. PB. Hey, Bye. Snagged in the nostril. <laughs> nice. Nice work. Uh-oh. 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 Help me. Help me. Set the hook. Set the hook. Fowler's hooked up. Little, little birthday boy bass. Yeah. Good fight on the five, man. Game changer. <laughs> nice. My man. Toad. Birthday bass. There we go. Decent. He's no pushover. Oh, he's bigger than I realized. Oh, no. Decent little guy. Yeah, we saw something pushing bait to the surface right along this big laydown. I think that was two casts later. Not too shabby. Something was just busting bait right back here behind me. Something's got him turning on right now. Aaron with another one just hooked up right next to me as I got hung up. Not bad little guy. Aaron here with a nice uh, largey, large mouth. Nice. What'd he go for? White Senko. White Senko. Get some more. Yeah, I mean, you know there's some fish holding on these rocks. Yep, got one. On the A rig. Oh, it's a striper. Or a hybrid. Looks like a striper. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're in this kind of deep hole, and it makes sense that there'd be some striper hanging out in here. They like that kind of deeper, cooler water. Oh, and there she goes. <laughs> big boy, big boy, big boy. And there was one more in front of me. First drum on the fly. Beauty, little freshwater drum. Gasper Goose, these guys have a lot of names depending on where you're from. Nice catch. Nice work. Yep, 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 yep. Better fish. Nice. Second piece of fish of the day. Work that guy in the angler app. Let this beauty go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't. That. Nice. <laughs> there we go. That is a little more like it. That's what we're out here looking for. 
much better, bigger caliber fish. Came off this lay down right here. Go ahead and log that guy in the angler app. Mark the catch. I can remember this lay down next time I come here. Beauty, beauty. Little drum. Oh, nice. <laughs> Side fishing for drum. What kind of fly pattern do you hit? Crawfish. Little crawfish pattern? Yeah, they'll eat a heavy crawl usually. He chased it like four or five foot. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was cool though. That was cool. This is the best fight of the day. Yeah man, they're strong. No, they're just like crawling on the edges over there. Nice. What an absolutely gorgeous river. Crazy rock formations all along it. It's got this kind of overhanging shelf. Super cool, but that creates shadow. And this time of year, in the summertime, these bass are really gonna be are, are gonna like that. They're gonna be relating to the shadow and obviously any structure that's up in this shadowed cooler water. Yep, fish on. Fish on the exo swim, the bio spawn exo swim, that swim bait, good one. Good bass. Yep, yep, yep. Good fish. Good fish. Right on this lay down, right where right where she should have been. Nice lay down, deeper water, two and a half feet. Everything's relative, but it is deeper than the rest of the river I've been seeing. And she's not giving up. That's a good bass. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not giving up. Do not have a net with me. I don't want to lose this girl. Stay down, stay down. Look at that, look at that. Nice. And there is a healthy fish. They've all been talking about they're only catching, catching little guys, dinks, but uh, you find these deeper holes and they're a good bass to be had in them. This is a river pig right here. I mean, we're here on the Brazos River. Most of it's two feet deep. Everyone's kind of catching dinks and uh, this big gal fell for the Biospawn Exo Swim, four and a quarter inch. Falling in love with this paddle tail. Just absolutely beautiful fish. Crystal clear water, beautiful scenery. We got these cliff walls and waterfalls. Just what an incredible day out here. Go ahead and mark this gal on the angler app. We're gonna let this beauty go. Right under the cut. Nice. Woo. Boom. I had a good day, that was fun. All right, super fun day on the water here on the Brazos for Chris Fowler's birthday. He got a nice bass on the fly. Did you film any of that? Sounds like Brooks got it on video, so by now you've already seen it. I haven't seen it yet, spoiler alert. <laughs> but yeah, we're exhausted. We just had to drag all these boats up this damn hill. <laughs> Uh, we're over it. I'm tired. We're all tired. I gotta drive my house back home <laughs> after this. <laughs> gotta drive the house back home. Yeah. Long day, but fun day. The bike kind of died in the afternoon, but uh, it was fun. It was pretty steady action all before that. Check out what I found. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty cool. Cement. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I thought, I mean, it does look Yeah, cool. it doesn't look like anything on that side. That's cool. Charge. Why'd you do this? <laughs> he keeps a rock from everywhere. I wanted to be like you. I found a cool rock. <laughs> mine's a fossil. <laughs> mine's my new coaster. You know the difference between my rock and your rock is that this, mine's a fossil. This is my new coaster. <laughs> oh, that is nice. It's my, my kayak coaster. Fits right here perfectly. Dang. Wow. Kayak That's the the newest accessory for lightning kayaks. <laughs> lightning kayaks. <laughs> Lightningkayaks.com. I want to wish you were me. It's creeping on me. <laughs> Merry might, Christmas, might, huh? I might have lost it. Merry Christmas, huh? Yep. Today with Chris Fowler on the water, it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. I call out Chris Fowler. Oh, so I ain't cold yet. It's in my butt crack. Yeah, that's your welcome for. I won't charge. It's a bag of sausages. <laughs> bag of slices. Yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Put you on food all in your mouth. Oh, jump bump, nice. jump bump weenies. I mean, bump meat. Bump meat. Yep. Sausage bump. Gingerly touch all the tips. <laughs> Golly. Golly.